Yeah, well, well, firstly, like you say, you've got a huge column. It's big enough for you and I to walk inside, as, uh, as, as you know, which we did, yeah. Lisa, we're here in Bielefeld. Um, we're standing on the on the table of this huge mill turn machine from Starag. I want to learn in this short movie about the construction, the build, and the importance of some of these areas. So, perhaps walk us through all areas of the machine. What have we got behind you? Well, you, you could think of this as a big bridge. So, what you've got is two vertical columns and then a horizontal bridge. So. You know, the, the, the cross rail, as we call it, is, is 90 tonnes on its own, just to give you an idea of weight and, and size. And you've also got a ram and, would it be called a W-axis? You've got two methods of, of dropping the spindle. Yeah. So we have an independent axis, a programmable axis for the cross rail. So the cross rail moves up and down. And then the ram, as you say, is, a, is another independent axis that also moves up and down in the same direction. And you can program both to, to move simultaneously, to make one movement of the insert by moving two huge axes on, on this machine. Wow, okay, now look. let's have a look at this column here uh, to your right. You've got a huge ball screw, um, we've got a high, hydrostatic guideway. Just tell us the importance of some of these areas and what's the Starag Group really focus on on the build? Yeah, well, well firstly, like you say, you've got a huge column. It's big enough for you and I to walk inside as, uh, which as, we did as yesterday. you know, which we did, yeah. So we, we've got twin ball screws, one each side. We've got hydrostatic guideways, so you've got metal, oil, metal. You've not got any, any, any bearings. Likewise, on this particular table, we've got hydrostatics. And as you say, you, you've got a, um, a massive ball screw with, with, with counterbalance. Now, what about, um, and we're gonna drop this now, we're gonna drop this, uh, uh, the, 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 the cross rail down, because we're gonna now see um, how well, we're going to look at some of the slideways on here. But you've, so you've got, as well, hydrostatic sli slideways on the cross rail. We've got two of them. Is that, is that right? You have. And it's, it's very important with the hydrostatic guideways that we have the correct size and, and distance apart because you, you know, you're suspending a, um, a ram assembly with, with, a, with a stroke of three and a half metres. So if, if you look at the bending moments of these assemblies, you need the fundamental rigidity in the design of the machine. So it has to look right, and it all has to be proportional in its in its structure. And we've looked now. We talked about the columns and the cross rail and, and the ram. You know, another huge part of this table here. I mean, this is huge. How's this driven, and how's this built, and and, and how? What foundations do you need? I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. There's a lot that goes into this. This particular machine, the bridge, if you like, runs over the top of the table. The second machine of this size we're building the table runs underneath the bridge so the bridge is static so there's multiple ways to build them the foundations are then designed on a bespoke manner to suit each individual machine but you imagine a thousand tons it's got to be a suitable foundation and, and yet how is this table built i mean i know there's something you've got in your hand there that really sets the sets the scene doesn't it for what goes into it for sure well this particular table is hydrostatic so it's a series of oil pockets, oil filled pockets and pressurised system. This is, this is, if you like, a needle out of a bearing. So on a, on, a, on a bearing type table of this size, there'd be 250 of these in a cage, just to give an idea on scale. So everything's massive, but everything's proportional. And we talked about the castings, we talked about the table and the construction, but all of this needs to be fed with uh, electronics and hydraulics. Uh, hundreds of metres of hoses on this. There's a lot more than just the build, isn't there? For sure, of course there is. Hundreds of metres of hoses, hundreds of metres of cables. There's control systems, measuring systems. There's the metallic parts themselves. It's a massive engineering project, this machine. Mm -hmm.